So it's senior night, KJ Cunningham. Most games played in Weaver State history by an individual player. Well, COVID. Yeah, he's been a fantastic player. He has been good. And he's solid. Money. Consistent. KJ I definitely agree with you. He has been consistent. He has, man. The university president, so he got engaged. She's a local girl here. So, it's important senior night, you think? Oh, absolutely. Speaking of alumni, Dave Matt, that was a hell of a player. Stephen Van Plankton, I was translating for his mom today at the ticket agent. Uh -huh. She yeah. speaks French. She's from Belgium. She was having problems. I says, Escape vous pour les Français? She said, Oui. And I says, Impa. So I helped her out a little bit. I can still speak some. And that old school Weaver State education, I got a, a BA, so you had to learn a foreign language, so I learned French. So, Stephen, he'll play at the next level. I did my BA, I took Spanish. I still remember quite a bit, although I've forgotten a lot. But, but he's actually a United from Puerto Rico, but he grew up in Belgium. Great player, great shooter, streakier than it's streaky, but what shooter ain't. He reminds me a lot of Scotty Mapport. He does. He didn't play here long enough to get the numbers of Mapport. Now, here's Sean, the greatest player probably in Weaver State history. Arguably. Oh, really? I think he is. I think his numbers prove it. I call him the greatest player in Weaver State history. I think he is. I agree. It's been a joy to watch him grow four years. I've been friends with him from the day he got here. I mean, what his, a scoring, his scoring is on tap with Lillard, yeah. but he also gets tons of rebounds. I mean, that's one of the things that is the national guy was talking about that. He's the only player in the country to lead his conference in three in scoring, rebounds, and assists. So he gets a 30-20 game here Thursday night, first one in the history of this building. Now remember this. He got 23 bounds. He played point guard. He played point guard the whole game. He did. Probably the greatest player in the history of this school, as far as here. Now, pass it, Lord. Give me it. Woo! 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 I think he's the greatest player in the history of the school. Oh, absolutely. There's no question he is. You know, at least this, Bill. You got to go back to Soldier. Come on. Well, the thing is, is Dylan puts up numbers across the board. Oh, they blow your mind. And they blow your mind. How many game-winning shots has he hit this year? I mean, it comes down, the game's on the line. He takes the team on his back and, you know, takes it down. He's had four games now when the entire house, me and Dave Patton were just talking about this, and everybody in the building both didn't know he's good, and he still scores. Yep. So I talked to the Lakers scout. He was the only one that stayed for overtime. I had a long visit with him last night, and I said, you know, I call him Dylan Magic. That name's not taken. That name goes clear back to the old Harlem Globebladder standing And he, he says, we love him. I really believe that. He says, I said, you're going to have to trade to get him. You think he's going to be hanging around at 25 or 20? You're dreaming. I project him at five. And I says, who's the greatest still in the history of uh, the last 20 years in the NBA draft? He says, I know who you're going to say. I says, yeah, of Damien, course. Damien Lillard. Right. And I says, what do you think? And he says, it's unquestionable. I says, don't let that one get away. So, I mean, I, he promised me a tournament win. So, yeah. this is our last chance. As long as you don't go. Because every time you go to the game on the I road, know, they I lose. Know. I'm not going to Boise. Don't Good. Worry. I'm going to tie you I up to your car. I'm not going to Boise. Not All going right. to Boise. I am. On the, if they make to the championship game, I'll go. But they're playing well right now. You know, and did you listen to Dylan's interview about getting hot at the right time? At oh, yeah. Eastern? Yep. It's excellent. And uh, what about Dylan as a coach? Oh, <laughs> if you want to know the truth, I think Dylan's more of the assistant coach than either uh, Eric or Dan. So he reminds me of MJ when MJ used to be the coach. Uh -huh. So, all right, let's shut this up. Well, let's keep it going. We can get the starting line. We might as well get this. 
Now remember, NAU got hot last year at the end of the season. They were the eight seed, and they beat the one seed. They did. Why did you guys feature together? Nice. And the thing is, Dave will take pictures with us. No. They, uh, they also, oh, he's got a reputation to protect. And remember, last year, they gave us a game down in uh, Flagstaff, and this year, double we came overtime. back. Double overtime last year, and we came back at the end of the game and pulled off another miracle to beat them down in Flagstaff this year. They beat the shit or they, I mean, they, they upset Eastern last year. Eastern was the one seed. Yep. Massive upset. So, and that they is. They made the finals. They I did mean, they make lost, the finals. They lost to Montana State in the finals, but. Weber State lost in double overtime, which was the championship game. That really was. Our, that was a championship game. They couldn't get it. Lord, or excuse me, Lord, there's a party in slip. Dylan couldn't get a call. No. So. Dylan Jones' last game. I almost started to cry thinking about it this morning. I got all emotional. When I had a heart attack last year, and I come out, he walked all the way across the floor, up there saw me after the game, walked all the way up, just playing, he come right up to me and says, Kevin, I've been praying for you. I hope you're okay. Every game, last year and this year, he'll walk over to me and say, how you doing, man? So, another thing here, this is important. These shirts, I'm the guy that talked at the end about it. I said, you're good. You know, religious kid, what about usury? I said, you should have these made in August. The first one's made in August in 40 years. 40 years. Yeah, I, got the purple, I got the purple one and the white one, just like you do. I wouldn't buy one. There's no way I would buy one. You know me, I won't buy their slave made gear. The Lord has the big contract. Uh huh. So I, I'm they make them in China. Right. It's usual. But so, here they use them. But here they make them here, and that's the reason. Right in August. That's the reason why I bought all of Dylan's jerseys is because they're made of Coleman Mills knitting mills right here in Austin. So and that shows you the character of Dylan Jones. Yeah. He makes sure he uses an Austin company to make the the oh, he apparel since he since we got it here. By the way, he's a 4.0 student. Yep. Ah! And I believe with only one episode in four years, I believe he's going to graduate with a master's degree as well. So I talked to Alex, Stu's mom and dad. Uh-huh. We love him, man. He'll be back next year. Oh, I love Alex and he's <laughs> Start KJ on senior night. Rightfully so. Yep. He started for three years here. Yep. Well, you got Blaze three. I can see why. You know, Blaze three's all that. Hopefully, he's back next year. I think he will be. So here we go. We might as well just keep this going. We got to stand anyway. It's a tradition here. A lot of people don't know this. It's been since the day they opened this. We were here opening it. You stand until the first bucket's made. We've been doing that since the day this opened in 1977. By the way, Utah Construction built this house on a merger with GE. This is a billion dollar structure. Because they did do doing what it would take to redo it. I'm part of the team that did it. 1.2 billion. Yep. That's what a Taj Mahal this is. It is a masterful building. If you look at it, what is it, 30 something, 40 something 40. years? Over 40 years old, and people look at it and they think it's like two or three. 47 years old. There we go. Dylan Jones last game in August. He had the greatest game in this building's history on Thursday. 30 points, 23. And I still give him 10 assists. They got him a nine. I, I agree with you. I think it was 10. Yeah! All right, Stu. His mom and dad are here from England. I talked to him, and I went up there, and I said, you know, everybody in Ogden loves this guy. And his dad says, you know, that means a lot to us. I oh, said, his, oh yeah. his, his mom and dad are cool. I've met him before, too. Yeah, they're awesome. So, but people do love him here. He's tough like Ogden. Ogden's tough down. Don't kid yourself. 
Oh, two again. Rebound, Dylan Jones. Back to Dylan. Take it at him, Dylan. Take, Take him. him. I told him the other night because he always gives his shoes away to one of the kids when he uh -huh. signs them. I says, Dylan, them green ones are definitely the ugliest ones yet. He's had some <laughs> ugly ones. <laughs> Still by Dyson Four. Oh no. Yes. Went off them, so we still got. Hey, what kind of season has Dyson Kohler had? Oh, Dyson is. Dyson's been amazing. I mean, he. If you want to know the truth, I think Dyson deserves almost as much credit for that win Thursday as uh, Dylan. He doesn't get that skill on the inbounds pass and make that incredible shot. We lose the game. No doubt. I can, I told him still the decade. Dylan. Take him to the hole, Dylan. Two. The thing is, also with Dyson. Get that, Dylan. Nope. His three-point shot's been off. But, now with Dyson. Alex, too, has three blocks in the first minute and a half of this game. <laughs> we might get a score record here. That's three. Snowing yeah, like I mean, crazy. By the way, it is snowing hard out yep, there. Yep, it is. KJ almost had a steal there. KJ is so solid, so strong. You know, best rebounding guard, I think, since Ruben Nemhard. Oh, absolutely. Another steal. Another. Oh, no. <laughs> How about Alex Stu tonight? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Right on, Alex! Alex! Way to go, Alex! We're pitching a shutout, but so are they. We got a pitcher's duel going on. Hit that, hit that, nope. hit that. No good. Two. Oh, it is. Oh, no. Called it on too. Called it on I thought he did. I don't mind them getting because the big sky referees are famous for letting games get out of control. I don't mind early they you know set the tone. Yeah. Uh, as long as they do it both ends. Two again. Another one. <laughs> so he's got three blocks and two still. Get that, Stephen. Oh, my. <laughs> now, you notice we're flanking a pink and a blue shoe. Oh, he does. <laughs> oh, God, look at this. He's gone really wild. Uh-oh. Two fouls on two. That's, two. That's Alex's second foul. Here comes Tumba. Tumba. Let's see. Go get him, Tumba! No foul. He missed that one. He missed that one. He missed that one. So we got a we got Sandy Koufax versus Don Drysdale. We got a pitcher's duel from hell going on here. So you know what Dylan does nowadays? When we get cold like this, that's when you start taking a coast to coast oh, yeah. to the rim. And you can't stop it. I don't know why he does it. Well, missed them both. We still got a pitching still going. Yep. We got we got a perfect game going. We got Don Larson on the hill here. Perfect, perfect game defensively anyway. Yeah, no shit. Offensive nuts so much. Holy cow. I'm sure glad we bet the under. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're three and a half minutes into this game with nobody scoring. This is going to be a short video. Still no. Dylan Jones rebound. That's two. Get that, Steven. Nope. Nice and taller. Hit one. Oh, yes, finally. Hey, hey. 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 Came in. Yeah. And 
Jose Uwe had the rebound. Dyson takes it away from him and then scores. A lot of people don't realize. And the end one. Dyson Core is lucky to be alive, let alone playing basketball. He got a kidney infection and a liver infection. They thought he wouldn't live. You should see his scar. So, finally get a point. He's got a as big as you got. Oh, his is even bigger than mine. Stay in tune. Let's see if he makes the free throw. God. <laughs> this one. 